We've covered a lot of ground in these exercises. We've covered all the basic rules, kind of how to use vehicles, how to coordinate them with uh, infantry, and now we've even covered, hopefully you've mastered, the use of artillery and high explosives in accomplishing your missions. Time to put all that to the test. Let's head out to the final field exercise. Let's see what we can do. All right, so here we have a uh, first lieutenant, a uh, regular, with both the submachine guns here. Here is a uh, forward artillery observer with uh, a buddy. Mortar team with a spotter. These are two nine-man sections. Uh, Submachine gun, NCO, with a light machine gun. And here's an eight-man section with, again, light, uh, NCO with a submachine gun and a Bren. This is an air observer. So he'll have air support as well. And then this is Cromwell, uh, all regular. All right, then over here we have the Germans. All regular. Uh, second lieutenant with a machine gun or submachine gun, bodyguards with submachine gun. Okay. Forward observer. Okay, yep. Panzer Shrek. Good. Uh, medium mortar with a spotter. Okay. Light artillery. Panzer, what was it? D? Four. 4D. Four 4D, uh, yep. 4D. And two infantry squads, submachine gun NCO, light machine gun with loader. Okay. All right, and this we're going to be playing No Man's Land. We're going to do all things artillery and HE, and indirect fire. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do deployment, which will include putting out the uh, forward or advanced deployment, the forward, uh, like your spotters. You'll be able to put them uh, kind of out on the table a little bit ahead of everybody else. Forward deployment. All right, so we're going to take a look at deployment as soon as we finish it. All right, so this is No Man's Land again, like I said, and we basically have the artillery observer. We have a air observer here, the motor team here. Its spotter is in this array. We have one infantry squad here, and the rest of the British are in reserve. That's the Cromwell and two squads of infantry with the leader. Um, which one was out? What was outflanking? What are they? Yeah, they're all outflanking. They're all outflanking. Okay. Jake has decided to outflank all four of his units, and he's going to write down which where they're going to come in. Oh, if the rules question. Rules okay. question. So if he gets tabled before turn three, mm -hmm. is he done? Mm -hmm. Oh, since so it's a no. kill point mission. Well, no, it's you got order dice tacked on. Oh, that's true. You always have order dice. Yep. Okay. So until he's out of dice, then yep. okay. Yeah, when you've lost all your units, then yeah, that's okay. that's it. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stay in the outflanking. Okay. All four of his units are outflanking. All right. Okay. So then over here we have the mortar observer, looking down, essentially getting most of the table uh, from this position. The mortar team is in this room. One of the squads of infantry is right here in the middle behind the uh, crates. Officer team behind the ruins here. The artillery spotter is actually in this ruin right there. The Panzer 4D with its light howitzer out in the open and the infantry gun, field gun over here have a pretty commanding view with the exception of this ruin kind of obstructing some of the view but that's still good position for covering the field. All right, so the other two units, the Panzer Shrek and an infantry squad, are in outflank. Okay. All right, before the start of the game, both players get preparatory bombardment. So on a roll of mm -hmm. two plus, they bombard the other, the other side, the units on the table. So let's start with Jake. Go ahead and roll anything but a one. He rolls hey. up good, so his, his bombardment comes in. And Dave, yours? Yes, so both sides come in. All right, so our preparatory bombardment, or preliminary bombardment, is basically every unit on the table, you roll a die, and something happens. Now, on a one, nothing. On a two or three, you take one pin. Four or five, two pins. On a six, you take two pins and a, pen, a three pin hit on one model. So one model can be killed. 
All right, so let's go ahead and start here with the artillery. It's our motor spotter. Uh, two. That's two pins. Now, motor spotters are any spotters, as a matter of fact, are considered their own unit, even though they're bought with the motor team. So when you actually give the order die, you either fire the motor or you move the spotter. Okay. So if the motor team fires and see it, well, say like he doesn't get any pins on him, will they be at a minus because he's pinned? Uh, no, they shouldn't be. Shouldn't no. be? No, they, no, they, no. Okay. They, uh, the way, it's not clear in the rules, but the way I like to play it is if the mortar team is using the uh, spotter to see the target, I like to use that. That's as what it's going to say. Okay. That's how I, do, I like okay. to do it. But it's not clear in the rules. Most people don't, okay. you know, don't ignore, they just ignore the pins. But, okay, so. That's just one. Yep, just one D6. Six, so that's a direct hit. Oof. One, but you only take one damage. One, one model is kill, potentially killed with a three pen. So they're regular. So basically anything but one of the models dies. Yep, so one of your guys is dead. And it takes two pins. That's a good roll so far. Oh, by the way, you're British. Mm -hmm. So you actually like two, you, you roll two dice and pick the highest in oh. preparatory environment. Uh, the main team here. Wait, on this, or just to see if I get it? No, to for each each of the units that you're shooting. So I roll two dice? You roll two dice, pick the highest. So for this one here, you roll a four. So two pins on the pins infantry on. unit. On the officer unit, uh, one, <laughs> only one pin. Man, you're good with rolling doubles. Two dice. Two do okay, the uh, yeah. tank. Uh, two, one pin. Uh, three. Yep, three is, is one pin. And then on the infantry gun, field gun, that's two Five. pins. Yep. All righty. Oh, and the uh, artillery observer right here. Ah, oh, six. direct hit. So anything but, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Yeah. So you've killed that, and the order dice goes out with him. Uh-oh. <laughs> However, it is now time for Dave to do exactly the same thing to Jake. Let's start with the uh, artillery observer. Nothing happens. The air observer. Nothing happens. Oh my goodness. No yep. Okay. The mortar team. Uh, one pin. Um, now we've got. Let's do the mortar spotter first. One pin. And now the infantry team. One pin. Not as good as the British did. Even without their benefits. They <laughs> okay. So that's preliminary bombardment. Now we go on to the first die roll. Who wants to pick the dice? I got sweaty hands. <laughs> you can do it, Jake. Okay. You're good. All right, first die. Now remember, they're out flankers, so they can't come in until turn three. Oh. Okay, German dice. <clears throat> now the howitzer, and which is in the tank and the field gun, can shoot directly, just like any other gun we've been using, or indirectly. If they decide to go indirectly, they roll this hit on a six to try to range in. Now your mortar can only fire indirectly. If if they don't hit, then they'll they have a plus one to hit the next turn. So the, the next time they, time they try to hit the same unit, there'll be a five to hit. If they still fail, it'll be four the next turn. So it, ranging in gets easier and easier to hit until you hit, and then you actually continue to hit on a two after that. You never lose the ranged in until the opponent moves the unit more than two inches from its original footprint. Now, without, if you do direct fire, do you still get the template? Oh, yeah, absolutely, because you're firing an HE round, high explosive round. Okay. It's just the delivery mechanism differs. We will try and advance the tank. Okay. Oh, you do have a pin. Everything's okay. pinned. That's right. Didn't get us lucky with Jake did. <laughs> So, needing and You have one pin, right? Yeah, oh. Not just regular. Okay. Because these are that six. Okay, yep. Good. Got it. So, way. And go in there. Uh, so, we're going to advance you. Mm -hmm. And you've just snapped two. Because I didn't think it was other than six. Because I didn't measure it when I put it down. Oh. Tank is nine? Yes. Okay. 
What is going to open fire? At? Yeah, you are. At the squad back there that I can see. Okay. All right. Now you're still. You can shoot directly or indirectly. Indirectly, you're going to hit on six. I'm gonna shoot. Now, if That's you shoot an directly, tank? Yeah. yeah. It's a howitzer, light howitzer. Um, it is a. If you shoot directly, you've got the hard cover and the movement, so you're hitting on sixes anyway. But you don't count as ranging in, and if you move, you won't be able to get I'm a not benefit. Because right, he's going to move, he's not going to stay there. Correct. Okay, yeah, so uh, you need a six to hit. You don't know that. Yeah, he does. Okay. I'm going to fire. I can fire my own machine gun too, right? Yes, you can. It's okay. Any target that you can see. Bam. Ooh, a six, so it hits. Okay, so very simply, just like an old 40K, you take the two inch template, because that's a light howitzer. Okay. Now, you have to place it on the unit to maximize the number of models hit. Does it and have to be directly over? No, oh. anywhere within between models. So it looks like three is the best you can get. Yeah, we'll go here. Okay, so three. Now, for HE, the pen value is basically set to be equal to the, range, the, the diameter of the template. So your pen value is 2. So these are regular. So they're 4 to kill, plus 2 pen for that. So you need 2s or higher to kill. Three uh, yes, 3 dice. Are there 2, two dead. Super 6s in this? Yes, there are. Okay. So go through all those 6s and see. All right, so nope, 2 guys are dead. Does it have to be any the guys? guys are... No, any of your choice. Okay. And um, now... It is a light howitzer, okay. so you do D3 pins. So, so D3. Two more pins. Two pins. These are your marks. All right, so that damage is done. Do you take two more pins? Two so more? Yep. And now a machine gun. Uh huh. Now, you won't do any more pins for this, but you oh, could okay. kill more. So, again, it's movement. Now it's probably long range. Yeah, it is long range. Okay, Wait. so it's super sixes. 36, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. From the gun. Yeah. From yeah. From the hull. From the hull. Yes. It's gonna be close. The hull's there. Yep. You are just shy about an eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch. Guy. Oh, you're on. Oh. Yep. Okay. So you're short range. So they're also sixes. Uh, just two. two. So again, killing on fours. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Why fours? They they're were, regular. Right. That's right. Regular is four. No. Nope, one. Just one. So one more guy's dead. Okay. okay. All right. Very good. All right. Next guy. Go ahead and draw that, Jake. Whoops. That's me. Okay. <clears throat> um. So how does the artillery work? Okay. You, with the artillery observer. You pick a point on the table that you can see for that observer, and that is where you want the artillery strike to come down. The artillery strike, if it hits, will hit within a, uh, with a radius of D6 plus 6 inches, and every unit within that is affected, and they will not be escaping it. They'll either get pinned or hit. Does it come in the next turn? Or it comes at the turn? beginning of next turn, so before anything happens. So he could move out of the way, potentially. potentially. And what's the strength of it? Uh, it depends on what you roll. If you roll it when you get there, it's a. If it comes in, you roll a d6 for each unit that's affected. On a one through five, it takes d3 pins. If you roll a six, it takes a four-inch template hit. So it could do a lot of damage. And of course, four-inch template that's a plus four pen. So you're going to do some real serious damage to whatever you actually hit. Mortar's going to hit this turn, though, right? Oh yeah, they come in there. They just fire indirectly. And essentially, it's just a six to hit, as long as you can see it and it's within range, which it is. And since mortars are... The spotter doesn't make it any better? It uh, doesn't make it any better, but it allows him to see things the mortar team might not be able to see. Okay, now if both my spotter and my mortar team have a pin, who am I going uh, The mortar team. <clears throat> Wouldn't it depend on what he's shooting at? Well, I think I'm going to shoot at them. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so you're ranging in shot. You need a six to hit. Oh, sorry, you need an order test first, yeah. yes. So you need a nine minus one is eight. Well, I got a spotter right here. Yeah. See. But, but, okay. But the mortar team is fine. So, yep, you got it. So the pin goes away. Pins don't matter in indirect fire. You just need a six to hit with the first shot. And he rolls a one. 
So you did not hit, but now that unit you're ranging in on. Next turn, if it has not moved more than two inches from its existing temp uh, position, it will hit. You will hit it on a five. You better. So run. what we do is we you put a marker by it. Just by the unit. Yeah, by the unit, because okay. that's the one being targeted. That indicates you're ranging in. Okay. Next order die. Boy, you better run. No, oh, it's me. Okay. Um. You've got. And the naval is also next turn. The air spotter is air also spotter. comes in the beginning of the next turn, yes, potentially. Mm. And then you've got your infantry unit there. We're going to try and move them. Okay. They they're get three, so they're regular. Minus three pins is a six or less. Six or less. They got it. That's what they needed. And we take one yep. of these off, and they're going to run. Run, run, run. Where? Run, are run, 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 run. Oh, okay. Run away. Wow, they, yeah, they can run to the orchard. Or trees. Alright, next die. Oh, don't forget the two pins. Yes. Always keep the pins with them. That, that is something that's a little bit hard to get used to in this game. Alright, another, another British die. So, now remember the air spotter is selecting a target unit. No matter where that unit moves, that unit is going to be attacked by the aircraft. No matter where it moves. No matter where it moves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well then, we're going to go for this him. Yep. We're going to go for the tank. Okay. It's just so, that one unit, right? Yes. So go ahead and put the put a marker on the tank as marked with the... Uh, uh, air am strike. I actually going to be able to now, hurt it with this? Yes, you can. Definitely you can. Yeah, no matter hit or anything? Nope. It's, no, he's just calling in a strike. Um, there, you'll see why. Is it going to be insanely hard to hurt it with this? No. But you, it is. there's a random aircraft type that will come in, but all aircraft types that come in will be able to hurt that tank because it's coming in on top armor. So, yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. Next. German. About damn time. Oh. <laughs> All right, we will. Now remember, you can order your guys down to delay his, you know, this unit's action. I didn't even think of that. You don't really have anything left off on the table to go except for that. Right. Um, we're gonna try and fire the howitzer. Okay. Um, I need an eight well, or less. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. No, he goes down. Pull the dice. <laughs> I keep <Yes>. getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> German again. Okay. We will try and move this infantry squad. Very good. Yes. Yes, they can. That's what they needed. Pen. Okay, yes. Now, before you move, I want to explain this. He has ranged in, so after you're done moving, after you're done moving, the, the measure between the your models and the where this is. So if you want to move forward, you're going to need to make sure that this these last ranks are two inches further away from this point. Okay. You have to move the foot away from the footprint. So the bigger your squad is, the harder that is. I'm Measurement, the make, point mark it like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it, with very large units, it may be hard to escape, or you may be forced to move in such a way to kind of make a huge circle around where you used to be yeah. just so that you don't get hit by the artillery. There. Okay? Yeah. There. That's not going to be two inches away. Right. That last guy that... that it depends on how I do this, though. Now you're oh. already in, still in your old footprint. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. Two inches from there? Two inches. There. No, no, two inches from where the line, right. where the unit yeah, was. The line. unit occupied this space. So you have to be two inches away from that occupied space. Oh, from there? Have to be two yeah, oh. yes, because your, your model started there. That was the closest unit, or model. So he has to be more than two inches away from that model. So this one's safe, but this one would have to move up here to get away. And Even though the, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, I got it now. Moving away from the 
Are you uh, advancing or running? I'm gonna have to run. Okay. Yep, that's one of the things that might have to happen. Just so that you don't get hurt. Get up on them boxes, man. Yep. So now he's no longer ranging in. So now you're gonna be uh, six again. So that's one of the advantages of using mortars uh, is area denial, as I've mentioned in other videos. Um, you are forcing the opponent to either sit there and take it or do something he may not want to do just to get it out of the way. Okay, next order die. Jake. Wow. Ooh, German. another German, good. We're going to try and shoot with them. Okay. I'll fire with them. And they've got two, two pins. Okay, so seven or less. That's good. That's good. Okay. We are going to fire at your mortar team. Yeah. Okay, yep. And they're, yeah, they can definitely see through the, the through the hole easily. One of the models can. All right, it's in arc, so you can go ahead on a six. Yep, right here. Nope. nope. But you are ranging in, so we'll put that marker there and... Next turn, you'll need a five. And you will have to move if you don't want to be hit. Okay, next die. Wow, that's me. British. Okay. The tank's going down. Tank's going down, okay. Right. Next die. German. Uh, foul or strikes going down. Oh, okay. Okay, nope. Yeah. And British. Uh, LT is going down. LT is going down, okay. I'll just put it there. Okay. I'm going to play this game. Yeah. The <laughs> Infantry Squad A is okay. going down. Okay. I only got one more. Oh. And the Infantry Squad B is going down. Okay, now you've got one left oh, in the bag. There's one left in there, too. No, you've got. Um, there's you are total. there and here. Oh, that's right. There's one. And here. then you've got. <gasps> did you not take out? Yeah. Did we not take out the FOs? Oh, didn't take out the Forbes or rewrite. There's one dead guy. There's one dead guy. So yeah, go ahead. Because you hey, killed the elite. No, I just pulled that. I know. It's his dice. Yeah, it's the dead. It's the. We forgot to take the, the dead FO out. Well, then yeah. I'll take it out now. I pulled <laughs> him up. Okay, fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, the okay. infantry squad's going down. Okay. There's the. All right. Okay, next one. <laughs> ha! Oh. Okay. So, okay. artillery reserve, pick a spot on the table that you can see. Does he have to do that, or can he just... No, he can go down. Yeah, he doesn't have to. No, I'm, 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 I'm going to do it. Do now, remember, the range of the explosion is anywhere from 7 to 12 inches <laughs> diameter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Any spot. Any spot they can see, yes. And yours is too, so don't... <laughs> Mine's dead. It can see... Oh, that's right. Uh, right here. Yes, it can. Okay, so, so go ahead and put a marker there. Put it in for... And like, that's one right. minute. Okay, very good. All right, then the last die is going to be German. Mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be his officer unit. Which I really don't... I don't really think I'm going to be able to get away from that. Uh, with a run, yeah, you can. With a run, yeah, but then I'm going to be picking the wind. Well, once once he resolves the, the, the might not artillery, you might not, but you might, if you do, you do have the option of going down against HE shot. Okay. Yes, you will. So it's okay. You know, now granted, you, all down does is it halves the number of hits you take, but... Yeah, we'll run. Order test first. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it's just base because he gets his own thing, right? Yes, he does. He's good. Okay. Now, if he runs into where I fired my mortar, is my mortar going nope. to hit? Mm -mm. Oh. No. That's a good question. I just thought. No, it, you're right. It's a good question, but no, it is not. Because you're not picking a point on the board. It would be nice if they did that. I mean, scatter from there. I mean, but just because no. they're running forward doesn't yeah. mean that the rounds aren't landing behind them. Absolutely. That's yep. Fun. All right, so that's the end of the turn. All dice are done. Now, we're going to go ahead and pick up dice, and we'll start with turn two. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to resolve the airstrike 
and the artillery barrage. Okay. All right, first, you, your choice. You can either do the airstrike first or the artillery observer first. We'll do the airstrike. Okay, so now here's the thing. On a one, essentially a rookie pilot, and he actually gets to choose the target, which could be your, your guys. On a two or three, they're delayed. On a four, five, or six, the airstrike comes in, and then we'll resolve it. It is a four, so it does come in. All right, so now we have to just determine the type of aircraft that's coming in. It's basically a one, two, three, four, and five, six. A one, two is a strafing fighter. Three, four, a die, like a bomber. And ground attack is five, six. Ground attack. This is the worst kind for him. Okay. Good. All right. <clears throat> now here's how we resolve it. The first thing you do is you need to pick a point on the table, 18 inches away from the target unit, and that's where the fighter or the, the airplane is starting its run, okay? Every model, sorry, every unit within six inches of that point or the target is affected possibly by when been pinned. So you may want to actually have it coming in, yeah, from that angle there. But it has to be 18 inches away from the, mo the unit. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a pin marker right there. Okay, yeah, that, that die. Yep, right there. Okay, now, so that's where it's coming in from. Now, good point, had there been any pintle-mounted weaponry or anti-aircraft weaponry on the table, you'd be able to take shots at it. But now we have to determine what's hit. So there's, there's a specific order in which you do this. Does it end its run with this, or does it yeah, get past? No, it's just that. So essentially this is going to happen. Every unit within six inches of the aircraft and the target unit will be affected. So, six yep. Are you? You're not six inches. Okay, so it's, in this case, it's just the tank and the two units there. Now, let's. We're going to do this in the proper right, so you got, order. You rolled the ground attack fighter. So essentially, you, the target, first of all, is going to take an additional D3 pins, just just so you kind of as an FYI. And you're going to hit it with a four inch template. Yeah, not not yet, but yes. You're also going to hit it with a four inch template. So you'll need that. But well, there's nothing around it. Yeah, to but, bother with. Yep. All right, so... Well, couldn't you wreck, destroy the house? Or it's already ruined. No, it's already ruined. But yes, you could affect buildings. All right, so we start with um, around the units around the aircraft itself. Let's roll to see if they take any pins. So, essentially, you roll a D3 minus 1 for, for each unit. So let's pick the leader unit first. Maybe 2 minus 1 is 1 pin. Now the infantry squad, D3 minus one, is one pin. Okay, so that's what happened there. Now the target unit is also taking D3 minus one pin, zero pins. Okay, now do D3 pins on the target unit because that's the ground attack fighter that you're uh, rolled. I'm using one D3. of my D3. Okay, yours doesn't like uh, it. It is oh. one pin. Now put the four inch that template was D3 on it. Minus one. Or that was, that was just this, this is the target though. That's target takes an additional D three pin no markers, which only rolled one. So you have a hit on the tank. Top armor, pen value of four. It's a four inch template, so it's pen value of four. Your front armor is nine, top armor is considered eight. So you need essentially a four to glance. That's what nope. Wants. However, yeah, okay, well, oh, that's too bad. There's nope. More. Yeah, too bad. Okay, so unfortunately, the uh, you've resolved the hit with a pen 4 value. You did not penetrate. However, it has taken its its pen. That was not a, that was a lackluster. Yeah, it was. That particular attack was a lackluster one. His bomb didn't hit real well. So, well that does happen. <laughs> okay. All right. So the target garage. Well, no, this actually could do more, because it's also a uh, four-inch, uh, no, three-inch template. But all right, let's see if it comes in. One, it scatters. Two, three, it's delayed. It comes in. Okay, so roll a d6 and add six. Twelve inches. Every unit within twelve inches of that point is affected. Oh, he missed the. Yeah, he did miss. So Those here's the tank again. again. All right, so we roll for each unit. Pick your which unit you want to go first. We'll start with the commander. Okay, commander, D6, a 1 through 5 is just pins. Yep, so D3 pins. Oh, my God. 
Two. Okay. Two more. Yep. And now the main squad. D3 three squad. D3 pins. How many? D3. Just one more. Four. Four. Now the tank. Uh, four. four. D3 pins. Ooh, Ooh three, three pins. pins. Oh, man. All right. So the artillery strike has gone through. The airstrike has happened. Now the pins, pin, these weapons, these guys are pinned. That's actually going to really hamper them during this turn. Potentially even beyond. Isn't there something about pins and number of things in the unit? Or something more of your... Uh, it's your... It's, your, it's yeah, yeah. leadership value. It's the leadership value. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now we go on to the first guy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm a gun. I'm a dude. <laughs> Snap. I mean, uh, yeah, um... Okay, this is turn two, so none of the outflankers are coming in, but you can put your units down still. So he only got one shot, right? Yep. The naval or the air. Right, but what what's he modeled with as far as a weapon? Oh, he's a pistol. Yeah, he's got a six inch range. You got a? Do you have rifles on these guys? Two sub okay, so it's twelve inch range there. All right, so you've got your um, you've got your squad, your motor team, or. Um, Put something down in reserve. Okay. Yeah. So this is the squad. They're gonna. They're gonna advance. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. Like I get to just shoot the people out of here, right? Yeah. I don't have to damage the gun. Nope. You actually can't damage the gun with small arms fire. Well then, leadership. They're what nine? Yep. The regulars are nine, mm -hmm. so minus two is seven. That's right. <sighs> eight. That's an eight. So nope, they go down. They go down. Okay. I guess that's okay, because they're in trees. They're safer now, yeah. All right, so next guy. Oh, Germans, very good. Sit, Germans. We're going to try and do another fire here. Okay, so the fire, the mortar is going to try to fire again. It has an order test again. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. You have how many? One, one, one. Okay, so eight or less, yep. All right, so six was last turn. Yeah. You range against, now it's a five or less to hit. He hits. Okay, so you use a two-inch template to try to cover as many models as you can. You're going to get all cool. three. Yeah. Okay, so again, two plus two pen. So anything but really. Uh, that's three dead mortar guys. Yep. So uh, go ahead and remove a die, a British die from there. And when when a mortar team dies, the spotter decides. Well, he's done for the day. That's so this, the, mortar. the mortar spotter will also leave. All right. All right, next guy. British. Your Cromwell, Cromwell down. down. Okay. I'll put it down. Bring it on the table. <laughs> next order day. British. British again. Might you also put my commander down? Okay. Next day. Gladly, as soon as he comes on the table. <laughs> okay, German. German. Such a good German. Oh. This stuff could potentially start coming in the next round. Yes. I'm going to try and rally the tank. Okay. Only halfway up the table. Though. So it is, yeah. Uh, nine. That, uh, that's right. Nine. So okay. I take off how many pins? D6 plus one. D6 plus one. All of them. Okay. But at least he's not shooting this turn, so that's a big deal. <laughs> like, I care. <laughs> <laughs> you should care. I don't have anything over there except for those British. Um, These guys can also go down or move, because um, <clears throat> they can they can do things on the table. Place squad A in. All right. Down. Another for outflanker down. Next guy is oh, German. <laughs> They don't have any more nope. templates coming in. No. Not artillery strikes or air reserve. Nope, those are all done. My artillery's all done. <laughs> okay, 
We'll rally these guys. They still get the bonus even though they're pinned? Yes. Okay. So, um, 9 goes to 10, goes to 7. No, no, rally, remember, does not have a penalty. Oh, so, but I still, I still get the bonus for rally? Yes. Okay, you so still get your bonus for your leadership. For 9 goes to officer. 10. Yeah. They got it. So, D6 plus 1. They're all gone. Okay, good. This is the only thing that's going to save me. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, those artillery strikes are designed to either hurt something or at least render the unit in a, in unuseful. For What's going down now, Jake? Yep, so yeah, they're, you've got your other infantry unit, and you've got your two observers, four observers. Well... They're going to run. Oh, very good. All right, fine. we'll go ahead and move the... Uh, so they end up. Okay, so they they ran up to the side of the building. I don't think he's got a gun. He might have a pistol. He's, always, he's always considered at least a pistol. Yeah. Hit their youth knife. <laughs> okay, British die British. is next. Uh, squad B down. All righty, so all the outflankers are down. Do you have any dice? Yes, yeah, so he has one left. He, he has, has the air observer. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Well, there you go. <laughs> so he can go down now, or run, well, advance. Well, he's on the second floor. What does, yeah. How does the downward movement go? Whatever the vertical down is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's where he advanced his man to. Okay. Uh, uh, the rest of the Germans. Well, we got they're the, obviously down. We've so got two down. units in the in down. we got the mortar team, which fired already. It's the howitzer. In the got the howitzer. Yeah, howitzer in the... Rally here. Okay. Uh, they're good. So, yeah, D6 plus one is... That's a, not... Yeah, D6 yeah. plus one is definitely going to have... Oh, I didn't see the third one, yeah. They have three, so wow, they good. don't have any more. Now the... Uh, uh, I don't have anything to fire at. Remember, indirectly, you can if you can see it. Uh, you don't. Well, he can see, but it's, it's, it's 90, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll throw an indirect shot in there. Um, um, indirect shot for a light howitzer, which is what that is, is minimum 24-inch range, maximum 48. Oh, I'm within yeah. 24. Yeah, so you can't measure. Yeah, so you declare direct or indirect and then measure. You know, it's indirect. I don't have to have line of sight too. You have to have line of sight. You just don't have. To, you can shoot through your own unit because you're shooting actually over it. Any one of your models can see it. Well, I can't see through the tank though. Yeah, nope. you can't. Can nope. I? So we'll just do a rally then. Okay. Oh yeah, they're good. So that's done. Okay. So we're going to go on to turn three now. Now the outflankers are going to can come in. You know how it goes. Okay, turn three. <laughs> First die out is Whoa. British. Okay. Advance these boys again. Okay. On a seven. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So one of these goes away. Yep. And we go six inches. Yes. Now they're all firing at these guys. Yes, now you'll notice from this angle, he can see two of the three models, so there's no cover. And since he's outside the firing arc, he doesn't get the benefit of the gun shield. Okay, so. so but he the has question no. is, there's submachine guns in there. Yep, so he is. He does not have a movement penalty, but he does have a long range penalty. Rifles are movement and maybe long range. Rifles. And that's a normal machine, light machine gun? Yes. Well, the rifles wouldn't be long range if the submachine gun's in range. You're right. Yeah, so they're all short range. Yeah, because yeah, because all his all his rifles are. Forward. We'll do the sub machine gun first. Okay, needing fours. One hit. One hit. <coughs> There's a pin. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and write the th two rifles. Two no. Oh yeah, because yeah, the other's uh, a loader. Loader. Two rifles. <clears throat> um, threes. Um, fours because he moved. Oh, okay, so that's another hit, and then four shots for the light machine gun. <clears throat> Again, moved, so it's fours to hit. And that is three more. All right, so a total of five hits, uh, killing on fours, because it's a regular artillery crew. Killing on fours, two, three. There it's gone. All right, yep, three, they're gone. Okay. So that's another order die out of the bag. All right. Stupid new it's model. Definitely got it. <laughs> <laughs> new model syndrome is first me. time yep. tail. It is me. Okay. It is a me. Okay, so you've got the... For artillery observer, air observer, and then of course what's outflanking. So, K 
can they charge him? They can't charge and they can't because they can't see him. Okay. However, they can move up with an advance and still shoot. <clears throat> First, I think we're going to run with this guy. Okay, he's in that rough ground, so he can't actually run. Oh, but he's he's going to advance six inches. Okay, yep. So there's his final position with the advance. Now, he has a pistol, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's not ranged to shoot anything. No! <laughs> Pistols are only six inches in this game. All right, next guy. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my job this time. Yep. Slacker. Yeah! German. Bow okay. We have two outflankers that can come in this turn if you wish. Oh, that is true. And then... No. We're going to play this chicken game again. Okay. We're going to advance the squad. Alrighty, so the infantry squad is moving forward. There with this. Okay, they're going to try to shoot the artillery or the air observer that's out in the Everybody open. Everybody is long range. Yes. And I'm small team. Yeah. Small team long range movement. So you're hitting on sixes. So, super sixes or regular sixes? Six regular sixes. He's got one, two, three, three. Yep, three hits, killing on fours. You can do it. No. You no. Adds up to four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he just takes a pin. That was close. All right. Thought you had him. Yep, yeah. next one. We have a me. Okay, British. Go <laughs> down, you biscuit eating dog. <laughs> okay, going to try to bring the Cromwell in. Okay, it's a nine minus one for the being yeah, taking reserve. Yeah, the, the lieutenant's over there. With yeah, that. not quite. <laughs> don't get the bonus. So you need nope, you need an eight. And he has a yeah, seven. Sorry. It comes in. Okay, so we're gonna, in, we're gonna come, he can come in up to twenty four inches from the table, uh, from his table edge, and he did choose his right flank. Okay, yes, so he has come in. Mm, blame Darren point. for that. Coming up here. Why? Because I didn't know. I thought I had to come straight there. on over. Nope. No, I thought you meant blame Darren for you deciding to put your tank yeah. over there. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> All right, so we have movement and short range. So you're basically hitting on force. The cannon is shooting that. Okay, yep. And then the uh, hull mounted is shooting them. Oh, Better very, very good, yes. Range. Okay, but let's take a look. We have to take a look at the Pretty angle sure. here because I'm not sure about that because when you measure it from the actual turret, the the line of sight, more than half the tank is, is forward of that point. I'm talking about them. From oh, yes, well, that, that, they will get cover because... The tank? Oh, wait, no, they will not get cover because those four models are covered by the tank, but you can see the other six out in the open. So you can see more than half of his unit. So no cover in either shot. So all you've got to deal with here is movement against that and movement in long range against them. So which one are you doing first? Five shots against the infantry, one shot against the tank. Do the five against the infantry. Is that long Make range on that? a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's long range. Yeah, <clears throat> that's why it's movement and long So fives to hit. Two, three hits. Three hits. Killing on fours. Uh, nothing. No. No kills. You lucky. But now you need a four to hit the side of his tank. That's no. a three. You missed. Okay. <laughs> nice. That was close. Nice. Yes. You feel that stress. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. I'm sweating. Botched yeah. that. <laughs> Next About die. As much as it could be botched. But that's still, that's, that's good. That puts some pressure what? on it, too. Oh, that's me, too. Oh, so go ahead. Me. All right. Come on. We're going to advance around the side here. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can get within, like, two inches Should of him. Going up there. I could be paying all your crops and all that, like, when you know how they're going to be open. Okay. All righty. I'm pretty sure. So they've got submachine guns. They don't get any penalties for moving. I don't think so. I can't get in there. That's good enough. They're super short range, but it's a small team. And mortar spotters are always considered down. So you're actually hitting him on fives. Okay, so it's three base. He's super short, so that's two. You're small team, so that's three. 
Motor spotters are always considered down, so that's yeah, or, five. Okay. Yep. I also have submachine guns. Was I going to fight? If I ordered him to go down, would it go to sevens? Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, you don't need to order them down. They're always considered down. Okay. Submachine guns. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so four shots hitting on fives. Let's see right here. Oh, a six, a six, and a five. Three hits. Now that's a regular mortar team, so fours to kill him. He's, yep, he's dead. Okay. So um, there's no order dice involved here. He's just you don't get benefit of a spotter now. It is Germans. Well, it's about time. Oh, they're, they're in. They're in. I don't know if they're in. They might be too close, though. Nope. It's 12, 12 inches. inches. Oh, it's 12. Oh, yeah. that was 24. Yes. Mortars are a very high angle of fire. I think we do that. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, there's no penalty for small teams shooting them indirectly at them. Yeah, we'll do that. So, just need a six to hit. Nope. So, you're ranging in, though. Five next turn. Okay, right, next guy. Not that they're going to next turn. Right. With any luck, Germans. Okay. So, I can stay here. Oh, no, I want to advance because I want to turn. Yes. <laughs> that would be wise. So, Which is a movement. Right, that's fine. I'm just turning like this. So I'll give him front, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Yep. Now, what are you going to shoot at? Now, let me explain something here because it, it will matter slightly. Um, you can shoot the howitzer. Yes, you can directly. Okay. But it has a pen, pen value of two. His front armor is nine. So you actually can't penetrate him and do damage, but he's a regular uh, morale, right? Regular. If you do that, if you hit a regular vehicle with a weapon that can't penetrate it, can't damage it, he will have to roll a d6. On a 4, 5, or 6, he ignores the pin. On a 1, 2, or 3, he takes whatever pins would, would he'd normally get. Are you recording that? Yes. And so you may want to still try to shoot him with a, a weapon that can't hurt. Because remember, that's a medium howitzer. It will do d3 pins if he makes that 1, 2, 3 roll. 50% chance. Uh, otherwise, of course, you can shoot at the infantry. <laughs> but it's up to you. Actually, no. I have a plan. Mm -hmm. Both machine guns are going on that infantry. Okay, ten shots at the infantry. Very good. So it's no, all you've got. Twelve? Because it's a Hitler's Yes, bus sorry, yes. Hitler's bus saw. I'm used to normal people. No, it's the Germans have the extra hit. Yes, so twelve shots coming in. Um, he's already made his move, so he cannot go down. Mm -hmm. He can see more than half. So mm -hmm. the only penalty you've got is movement. So fours. Yes. Mm. Ouch. Ugh, that's a, that's a bad roll. roll. Four well, hits. no, there's not enough ones for it to be a Jake roll. That's true. <laughs> four hits. Uh, they're w regular. So, fours. Yep. Two dead. Two and super. there's the pin. Well, they're super successful. Yeah. And so, nope, nope, just two of your choice. Yeah. Yeah. German. Mm -hmm. We're going to try and bring in the Panzerfaust. Okay. Bench Shrek. Okay. Nine minus one is eight. They come in. Okay, so he's come in out flanking from this edge, and he's able to fit in behind the tank. Hopefully, he's going to hit. Now, this is super short. That offsets the movement penalty. So he's hitting on threes. Oh! Yes! <laughs> now, the Cromwell has a dilemma. Which tank to worry? Which to attack to he worry about? He doesn't have a dilemma. I got <laughs> all those outflankers. True. All right, so next turn. Or next die. Oh my. British. It's me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to bring in something or put them yeah. down. I'll bring in one of them squads. So okay. <laughs> oh no, they don't. Ooh. So they're down. <laughs> all right. All right. Next die. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Germans. Okay. The infantry squad coming yep. in on eight. They come in. Because I'm coming in over here. Yes, he is. That's his. <laughs> oh. That's where he declared it. Yes. Yep. Okay. He he split his unit. So. That that makes more sense. Alrighty. Okay. So. These two are outside of six inches, so they're going to be basically penalized by the movement and small team. Everybody else is going to be movement, small team, 
and except they're going to be super short, so it'll be only minus one. The NCO with his submachine gun is right up front. has no penalties except the small team. So, okay. submachine gun is hitting on fours, Everything two else. rifles on fives, and everybody else on fours. So, sorry, submachine gun on threes. Threes, fives, Five, fours. Yes. And the rifles are on fours, so right. figure that out. Because the, the small team it offsets the uh, short, super short. Okay. Let's roll this and then try to remember what all that was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a hit for sure. Because uh, they need four. No, that was the sub. This is submachine. Oh, submachine. They needed three. The the long okay. guys missed. Okay. And everything else was on fours. Fours. So two, four, six hits. Uh, super short for small team. Yeah, fours. Okay. Um, fours to kill. I wonder if... Right, it's dead. So yes. Two, two right now. <sighs> Next guy. Wow, that's me. Okay, British. The other infantry squad. Alrighty, on an eight. Uh, oh, no. my God. But this is the best time to foobar, because you can't hurt anybody when you're off the table. <laughs> so they're not coming in this turn. They're scared. Yeah. Okay, so next time... <laughs> They're just biding their time. And me! So the, okay, the leader. Yep. Okay, so the leader comes in. Going in. On an eight, a nine, eight. Or, or, I don't know if or he should. can go down. But he's plus two. He is coming in on a ten because he's a first lieutenant. He gets to apply his bonus to they himself. No problem. Okay, so coming in. Leader coming in. Officers cost far less. He does not make it. <laughs> he rolled an eleven. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. I thought I was a plus two, though. But oh. you you always fail on eleven or twelve. Oh, okay. The no, best you can get is a ten. The last one. All right. So all the rest <laughs> of the dice there's only one. are Germans. There's, yeah. There's only showing me one, right? Yep. All right. Go, yeah. officer. So. Um, I don't really know what I want to do with all right, you. Officer. Very good. Up over to here, and let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. That I makes just sense. want to stay six there in case mm -hmm. I need them for some reason. Good. Okay. Uh, end of turn three, dice up. All right, turn four. First die. <laughs> yeah, this first die is a biggie. Because there's a lot of pain in it. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, he's got a few options over here with that Cromwell, the unit next to it. All right, trying to bring the LT on. Uh, ten or less. Because of his leadership. Eight. Eight, he comes in. Okay. Would that give him cover with my tank? No, I don't think so. No. I can see yeah, you can see without any, any issues. All right. All right, so now that's they're shooting these guys. four shots. And they're at... Super, super short. short. Yep, so you're hitting on twos. Of course, Jake is known for rolling one, team? so... I'm pretty good at it. Oh, um, sorry. You're, you're right. It's threes. Small team counteracts the super, super short. short. Yep, now do you want to go down with this Panzer Shrek? It would make it fours. Oh, uh, sorry, fives. But then you can't shoot with the pen. Yeah, shirt. no, I'm going to risk his bad rolling. Okay. <laughs> uh, he has, unfortunately. Four hits. Four hits, yeah. And then on fours? Yep. It's a pin. They're, They're dead. They're dead. Okay, good. So Cromwell is now safe. All right, so Pro that's a dead Panda Shrek team. Next die German. is German. Okay. okay. The tank. Tank's gonna fire. Okay. Tank is gonna get a fire. What's firing? Well, it's right. Try to figure that out here. I'm gonna. We crack these open. Shoot the howitzer. Okay. Howitzer okay. into the, the Cromwell. Tank and the machine gun okay. into the unit. All right. The unit you won't won't get any cover because there's you can see two of the models. Do that. So that's okay. Threes. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, that's three hits. That's Killing on fours. I'm gonna pen in case I don't kill. Oh, I got it. I got. Killing on fours. Uh, you don't nothing. kill them. Well, no, that's nope, two. nothing. So they're down to three pins or up to three pins. Now the main gun. Uh, this is hitting on a three as well. You hit. Okay, now it's a two-inch template. You're really not going to be able to hit anything but the tank. So you're plus two pen. You cannot hurt it. Because it's front armor is nine, so right. two plus six is eight, right? So you don't have to worry about that. But Jake will now roll a d six 
on a four, five, or six, he will not take pins. On a one, two, or three, he will take whatever pins you dish out. Okay? Two, yes, yeah, so he will take pins. So you get to roll D3 pins. Okay, so three, three. pins. So that was actually good for you. Um, so that a regular, when a tank is hit by a weapon that cannot damage it, and it's a regular crew, on a one, two, or three, it will take pins. On a four, five, or six, it won't take pins. A veteran will only take pins if the weapon can damage the tank. An inexperienced will always take pins. An uh, inexperienced vehicle will always take pins. There's no green? Or, what, is no. inexperience worse than green? Uh, yeah, but it's inex there is no green for inex inexperienced sure. vehicles. Okay, right. I wasn't sure. Right. Okay, so that's good rolling there. So next die. Do about that now. Just have to wait it out. Yep, okay. This guy right here. Yep. He's going to run away. <laughs> okay. He has an order check of an eight or less because nine with the one pin. He eight? does. Okay. Pin's gone and he runs in some direction. Right. So he's run back around to get some cover here to help potentially keep him alive. <clears throat> That's actually a smart move. Okay, next guy. British. Wow. Okay, yeah. rallying the tank to try to get rid of all the pins. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Brad's leadership 9 plus the leadership of the bonus, so 10 or less. He's good. So, D6 plus 1. There we go. All the pins are gone. Okay, next guy. British. British again. I'm trying to eat some yeah. chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's going to want to try to bring on one of your units or this infantry squad. This infantry squad is going to run. It's going to try and run. Try and run. Okay, so they need a six. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I think I know what you're trying to do, but I... Don't know for sure. Okay. Oh no, he foobard. Okay, well, all right. So roll a d6. Okay, on a oh. six. So they essentially go down, but they run 12 inches away from the nearest enemy unit they can see, which is that. So they're going to move 12 inches over here, as far away as they can fit on the table edge. That's actually better for you too. It is. You get your run, <laughs> but you're also considered down right now. I went the wrong direction. <laughs> Did you? Oops. <laughs> you wanted to run towards the machine gun, did you? Yep. <laughs> Can I take okay. another pin? No. Okay. You just don't lose any pins and you're considered down right now. Alright, next guy. British! Okay. <laughs> you see them? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right, so we got two squads can come in from reserve right now. Or you can put one down. Nope. Okay, you need an eight. <laughs> That's what you needed. That. Okay. okay, so the unit ran up to there. Mm -hmm. Okay, next die. Get some chips, because I want to see the look on your face. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Let's> got <go. laughs> Oh. <laughs> German yeah. day, okay. All right, we're going to give a lesson in rules. Okay, very good. I'm going to advance the mortar team to try okay. to Right. So you're going to be turning up to 90 degrees. Okay. Can he, he can just take the mortar. Mm -hmm. he's, he's just the yep, mortar. Just the mortar. Yep. I'm going okay. to fire smoke. Okay. All right. So for smoke, you, again, you pick a point on the table that he can see or that, that the unit can see. Okay. Uh, max range on the mortar is... 60 inches. 60? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, we're going to throw it right there. Okay. All right. So again, it's a ranging in type of a thing. Now, here's the thing. Before you just, uh, commit to the smoke, okay. I'll explain how it works. It's, you know, make, it's only fair. All right. <clears throat> so again, it's a ranging in thing. If you hit on a six, you place it exactly there. It'll be a four inch template or area. If you miss, he gets to place it up to twelve, anywhere within twelve inches. Okay. Of that spot. How much? How big of a footprint does he have? It's a four inch template. Yeah. All right, need a six. Okay, so he's trying. Yep, need a six. 
Oh. Mm, nope. Okay. Middle. Uh, okay. Yep. Get it right there. So we're going to go ahead and use a open up cut. Okay. That's about a four inch template there. That's the smoke. All right. Now, you can, we're going to leave that marker there because if you choose to continue to fire smoke there, you'll hit on a five next turn. Okay. Okay. So that's what that marker is for. Matter of fact, what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with a yeah, regular marker. Jake will pick that up. Yes. Yeah, because it's one of Jake's dice, so we're not going to want to do that. All right, so there's the attempt to hit smoke again. All right. Okay. British. British oh, die. All right, do you wish to uh, bring in the next die? Okay, you know, okay, that is an eight or less. No, 11. It stays out there. <laughs> next die. That's one way to keep them alive. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Are they all mine left? Uh, yes, they are, as a matter of fact. <laughs> all okay. Right. Uh, we'll start down here. They're going to run. Okay. That way to go chase down okay. the as well. All right, so they've run to chase him. Very good. Uh, we've got to do an order test here. It'll be, I measured this, so yep. it'll be base. Uh, so we need nine. Got it. Good. Pen goes away. They're going to uh, run as well. Um, okay. So we move run over there. Yep. <clears throat> They're just going to do an advance up over to this side. Okay. And that's okay. dice. Okay, now a little review of smoke. Smoke counts as dense terrain, so you cannot trace line of sight through it. You can advance into it you, or out of it. You cannot run through it. Now, if a unit is in the smoke, they can shoot out of it, of course, having a cover penalty, or units can shoot into the unit that's in smoke. And they'll have, but they'll, they'll get light cover. Light cover. Okay. Yep. All right. So that's the smoke. Now, at the start of the turn, when smoke is on the table, we'll roll a die to see if the smoke persists or drifts. So, or remains. So, we're about to start turn five. So dice up. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, since Dave launched the smoke, is we're gonna roll on uh, one. All the smoke dissipates. On uh, anything else, it it uh, drifts d6 inches. Oh, in a random, in random direction. A oh, random direction. Yep. And it's, oh, it's a one. It goes away. <laughs> okay. That hurt. Yep, that, oh, that did hurt. Because now they're exposed. It depends. Yeah. Who are all the bats? Alrighty. First die is drawn. And it is a German die. No snap. <clears throat> advance. Okay. Okay, after having advanced behind this, now you're going to shoot at the big squad. Okay. You moved. I did move. Yep. Some are in short range, some are in long range. The machine guns in short, short range. range. Yep. So Looks like three in rifles in short range. and the light machine gun. So that's nine shot. Uh, sorry, eight shots on fours and four shots on fives. So the black dice need fives. Everything else needs fours. Okay. So these two hit for sure. Everything else needs fours. So only five hits. Okay? But they're regulars, so you need to, yep, you need to kill them. Ouch! That's four dead. And yep. And nobody's special. Okay, next die. Ha! It is, it is British. Okay, so you still have one unit that can come on? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Cannon into that tank, the enemy okay. tank. They're all mounted into the enemy troops. Okay, hardcover with the troops. We'll start with that. Alrighty. And it's almost certainly a short range because it's within 18 inches. So fives. Uh, yes. Is it within 18? 18 no of the hull. Yeah. Right. Yes, it's always good to double check. Well, One hit, two hits. Six. Okay, uh, killing on fours. Killing on fours. One, One dead. Okay, roll of six. Is anybody special? No. Nope. Okay. Now the main gun. Hitting on threes. Just one. Can he do it? Yep. No, nope. he does it. There's, there's our Jake. Solid Ooh. one. Yep. All right. Next uh, next order die. Oh, sorry. We still have a full unit in reserve. Man. Sure. Germans. Okay. We're going to do an advance here. Okay. You can see him, right? Uh, he, well, no. Whoever can see him can shoot him. Okay. There. Mm -hmm. So he's supposed to be a rifleman. A small team 
and you're shooting over the box, so it's hard, oh, soft cover. Oh, that's all. Oh, and long range, except for the front guy. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah. No NCO. So, four shots. So he's a five, and the rest are sixes. Oh, he's a five. Yeah. Oh, wait, movement, hard light cover, and small team. So there's sixes uh, for the rifle, and super sixes for everybody else. They're all rifles. Oh, except that he's in short range. The rest are in long range. Okay. Okay. So white so, will be... All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, white is six. There is super six in our house. Okay, one chance. No. Nope. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Next order die. Shit, it's me. Okay. I'm going okay, to... Snap two. Okay. All righty. Because I totally forgot to do that. Don't do I was going to do that. Right. Snap down. Yeah. So, you have to take an order that says they're basically in advance. Okay. Fire! Well, actually, no, they don't really have to advance. So they're just going to fire. Okay. They might advance and fire. But, uh, orders test. Yep. At close nine, so you're good. Yep. <clears throat> they're good. <clears throat> so now you can fire. Machine gun. Okay. Like machine, gun. machine gun and two rifles at short range. And then a normal range uh, oh, submachine gun. A long range. So, yeah, so <clears throat> so he's going to be hitting on fours because of long range. Everybody else is going to be hitting on threes. We'll do him first. Okay. Fours. That's two, two hits. hits. And then two rifles. Two rifles and four machine gun shots. Four so machine six, gun six shots. More. On threes. Mm -hmm. All but one. So that's seven hitting on fours. Killing on fours. Killing on fours, sorry, yes. Killing on fours. Yeah. Ouch, one, one, two, two three. Three dead. A one is a six. We roll a six to see if it's anybody special. Okay, no, they advanced. That is normal. Long, long range. range. So, so they're long range. The movement doesn't count, so they're hitting on fours. Four shots hitting on fours. The movement doesn't count. Now with assault weapons, oh. which are assault rifles and submachine guns. So one hit. One hit. Yep. And killing off fours. Yes. Is this anybody special? Special. No. no. All right. Next yeah. die is German. German. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do an advance order on the tank. Okay. Alrighty. You can move nine inches. Oh, okay. Straight, straight back. Back up. Um, if you back up, you cannot pivot. Oh, then I'll just pivot. Oh, mm -hmm. so he'll still have front, right? Uh, that yes, okay. you're in front. Yes. You would like up here though. Fine, I'll just go like that. We're gonna unload the hull mounted into them. Okay. And the coax into them. Oh, okay. All right. So the hull mounted is gonna be in super short range with hard cover and small team. Uh, you did move, so it's basically gonna be base of three movement four. Super short three, small team four, hard cover six. So okay. six on the on the uh, officer squad. Two, two hits. Two. That's a pin. And killing on fours. It's they're dead. Okay. Boom. Okay, that's what you needed. Splat. Okay. And it's just. It's going to be something. movement. That's going to be movement oh. and hard cover. So it's sixes. One hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So one possible kill on a four or better. No, no just a pin. pin on now. Okay. Next die. Me. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna bring my homeboys on. Sure. All right, I'm gonna try to bring another <laughs> his squad in that still can't come in. Uh, eight or less. Hey, they there come is. in, and they're moving. Okay. They're all long range, except for the light machine gun. Light machine gun's right Which there. is short range. Okay. And does the sub hit? No. Okay, so you got movement, and long range for the rifles, and just movement for the light machine gun. So four shots are hitting on fours. Four, and five, six rifles. Um... Except one of those rifles is a loader. No, I didn't count him. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's the loader. Oh, okay, very good. Very good. Okay, so six uh, rifles are going to be hitting on 
5s? Yeah, 5s. Movement long range. So that's 2 hits. And then 4 shots hitting on 4s. 1, 2, 3, just 2. two. Okay, so 4 hits, killing on 4s. Nobody awesome. dead. Okay, nope. just a pin, which you've already given. All right, very good. Next guy. That was it. That was it. Last, last bag of shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you take their dice? Yes. No, not their dice. I took the their dice. Their dice. Well, where's their dice? Because they moved too. There it is. Oh, yeah. Maybe I took it. Okay, I should have one die left here and one die left there. I should have two left. That's me. Alrighty, so that unit's right. running. He runs over the other ruins there. Trying to stay away from the uh, chasing mob of Germans. I'm gonna fire a mortar. Okay. We can shoot at this time. We're gonna use HE. If he's smart. Yeah, down there. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, you need a six to hit. Oh! Oop. Ranging in. So you need five. That's me. He's British, so that's this hey last unit here. They need a. Six. I think they're gonna advance. Okay. Should I rally? No. Okay. Six it is. He rolls a seven. Nope, they're down. Okay. <laughs> Officer team. Right here. So I'm just gonna advance back a little bit to make sure I stay within six of the squad. Okay. Need the help. Let's dice. Yep, okay, dice in. On the turn okay, six. first die, turn six. German. Oh, German, okay. Interesting. So we've got a. I think. I go with the tank. Okay. Giving. Fire order. Okay. Um, everything under them. Okay. So that's all machine gun shots. All machine guns. All okay. twelve. So twelve shots into them. Essentially, you just they just have cover. That'll get hard cover. Yeah, that's that's all they have cover. Okay. Yeah. So, so fives. Yep. Oh, sorry. Not good. One, two, two. three. Three. Okay, so three hits, killing up fours. Run away. Two. Two dead. That's half the team. No, it isn't. Sorry, there's four, three, five guys left. So that's one more pin. All right, next order day. British. Very good. Advance and fire. Okay. It's not a bad idea. All right, since you moved more than two inches away from your original position, uh, footprint, the ranged in, the mortar goes away. Okay, and now you're shooting with the movement penalty for some of the weapons. You got this other Okay. Yep, you do. All righty. So you're hitting on fives minimum, sixes for movement, and what? Everything is in short range. Yeah. The NCO gets to shoot. He's, I don't think he's this long is range. NCO. Yeah, he's, he's long range. He is indeed. Yeah. So everybody's hitting on sixes then. Five for going down and one for movement. Or long range for the NCO. So that's hitting on sixes. That's a good choice. Yep, yeah, roll on sixes. Over here. Yep. I don't glare that way. Uh, one hit. Okay, so that's another pin. Yep, and that's okay. That's a wound. And is it somebody special? No. Okay. All right. So he pulled one man out. Now his unit is not in coherency, meaning they don't. He doesn't have everything within one inches. So at the when he orders his unit next, which will be next turn, uh, he will then have to ensure that all the unit, the entire unit, is in coherency. So he will have to move. Okay. Next guy. German. Okay, German. Um, you have the leader, or your officer, you have the mortar. Fire the mortar again. Didn't it already fire? That was, last, that was the last thing yeah. I did. 
Oh, it did fire. That's mm -hmm. right. And then you have. Is there. I have them and yep. the officers. Yep. Okay, so advance here. here. Okay, so more than half the squad is shooting through cover at the small team. So it's movement, long range, small team, hard cover at super sector. Got two chances. Uh, nope. Nope. All right, next order die. Yep. Little coward. <laughs> you have right here all of it into that. Okay, so these machine guns. All right, so essentially, it's short range, hard cover to reach those. So you're hitting off fives. They're down. Ten shot. They are down. Yeah, that's the end. Of the okay. Yep. Down. So hitting on super sixes. The tank, the all tank. of its machine guns. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what else? Yep. Well, I so. suppose I could try and kill that thing in one shot. Yes. But if I just get two of those guys, they might run away. They might. It's not likely, but we'll give it a try. Okay. That's one of those decisions you got to make. Yep. What okay. Super sixes. Super sixes. Because you went down. So there's two possibilities. Yes, two possibilities. Just mm. needs... Both. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Next guy. I think we can do a good game. Uh, I, maybe. British. Okay. He's got those guys. Yep. He still has those. And he has He's this got, off. This yeah, guy. And that guy there. But I mean, like, oh, that's true. Like, to try and kill them. He's right. got those guys. With three scullies on me. Yep. You're going to have to make order check and advance. On a six? Mm, yes. Well, I don't... Do I have to advance? Yes, because you need to end in coherency. Because yeah. you lost a guy in the middle there. Okay. Okay. All right. Ooh, an eight. He uses it down. Okay, next guy. Oh, I didn't need that. British. Okay. You got... Yep. So again, they need a six. They got it. So one pin goes away, and where are they going to go? I guess they're going to advance. All right, so long range, movement, hard cover, and down. Oh, he doesn't get hard cover from that. From the tank? <clears throat> yeah, can you the see? The tank and the, the building? Oh, I guess from the tank you would. Yeah, tank. So super oh, well. sixes. That's okay, just the movement long range would do it. Okay, so he has one chance. And nope. All right, next guy. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> All right, so now it's this unit is going to run further. This unit is going to go down. Oh, oh, he's going down. Okay. Advancing the HQ officer. The officer. Two. Those guys. They're down. Okay. Yep. I know they're down. So but movement, I... long range, down. There, I can all, I can all get to that guy. Okay, yep. So is it their long range? Yeah, it's long so range. Move, is it, are they submachine guns? They're all three submachine guns. Okay, so it's long range and down. So hitting on sixes. Good. There. Uh, sixes. Wow. Not Nothing. a one. Wow. Okay. Hey. All right. Okay. So let's roll to see if it's right, so roll on a three or one, two, or three. It stops. Okay, yep, so game over. Now, with a scenario like this, this is definitely a draw. In a kill, kill point, in a lot of these bolt action scenarios, you actually need to score two more victory points than your opponent. So in this case, it is a draw. So good game, guys. Good game. So Dave, after your first four games, what do you think about bolt action now? Um, I'm very impressed with the system. It's easy. It's, I mean... I, I only got about halfway through the rules before we started playing just because of my work schedule mm -hmm. and just learn on the fly. It was, it, I, it's not an overcomplicated system. Good. Um, All right. Excellent. I Thanks for... More games. Excellent. Thanks for uh, letting us do this at your house oh, no and problem. appreciate it and look forward to the next game. So if you guys have questions on the rules, just go ahead and put them in the, in the comments below and we'll, I'll answer them. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for sticking with us through this... Uh, Tutorial series on how to play bolt action, second edition. All right, bye-bye.